A little bird once told me that fighting the wind was an uphill battle. I can never understand that. It just takes me where I need to go. I've been around the world, searching now for hope. And I've been looking a long time. I got lost along the way. My life started with a breath of fresh air. The wind is my guide, my breath and my whisper. It's taking me on this journey, and I learned lots right from the start. sunny day, a little boy and his daddy were walking downtown towards the old fire station where the firemen were holding a fundraiser. They had their big red trucks that the sun shined on very bright. They were smiling at everyone that walked by. They held me with all the other white balloons. We kept reaching for the sky. I wanted to see everything. We tried so hard to get free that some firefighters tied us to the table. It was very heavy and we could not lift or budge it, even though we tried with all our might. I almost made it once. As the little boy and his daddy passed by the firefighter's table, one of the men ran over to the little boy with me in his hand. He passed me to the little boy. What do you say, said his daddy. Thank you, replied the little boy. So the daddy tied me tightly around the little boy's hand. The little boy was way too heavy to lift. I wanted to fly. I wanted to be alone and free. The little boy heard my whispers in the air. He looked up to hear me say, Little boy, could you let me go so I can see the world? The little boy shook his head and said, Do you believe in wishes? He said he didn't believe in wishes anymore, that he made a wish every year, every single year, on a special day, but it never came true. He told me about another time and another balloon exactly one year ago this day they had a lot of fun but it just wanted to get away into the blue blue sky it took them down to the harbor where giant ships gave things out and took things in big and small things all shapes and sizes from all over the world they ended up going to the train that stayed still and never moved the daddy and the little boy were very happy. They loved their time together. The white balloon was very quiet. You could hear the whistles and the engine. If you listened real hard, the balloon could almost feel the train move. And from nowhere, hoo hoo, and laughing out loud. And when the little boy looked up at him, he stopped, not to say another word again. But on the way home, it shot up into the blue sky, not to be heard from again. The little boy wished that the balloon would come back. He waited all year long, but nothing. He told me that a year is a very long time. Now I know why I've been tied on so tight. Wow! It's been a very interesting day. I've heard so much. The daddy and the little boy, with me tied to his hand, went home to where the daddy lived. I looked around the room and saw so many happy faces. There was many different balloons too. Different colors, shapes, sizes I never knew existed. 
Then his daddy brought out a beautiful cake with candles and everyone helped blow them out. How weird was that, I thought. The other balloons just stared and laughed at me. Then the little boy's big brother gave him a big present. He ripped into it and I couldn't believe what I saw. He made a book about me, about a white balloon. The other balloons went quiet, but I became very happy inside. It was beautiful. The little boy said, I made my wish, what's yours? So I couldn't hold it in any longer and sang out for everyone to hear. I wish that I could fly. I want to go high, way up in the sky. I want to take the wind for a ride to see everything from way up high. I really want to fly. And with that, the little boy took me outside. parking lot and then tied me from his hand. Be free and see the world. Fly, fly, way up high. Thank you, little boy, for letting me go. I'm gonna fly high, way up in the sky. I promise I'll be back by your side. And as I looked up and around, I could see everything. Then the gentle wind came with a whisper. Come for a ride with me. It took me on a wonderful journey, up, up, and away, until I saw the moon. But I felt something different, not the same. I wanted all this time to be here in the sky, but I kind of felt empty inside. I didn't know what it was, so I floated back down with the wind by my side wishing that I never wished in the first place. is that there's no need to fight the wind when it helps you along the way. Flying high is best with someone by your side. When you get to where you're going, I'll be by your side. When you get to where you're going, if you're going for a ride. If it's raining, if it's snowing, if a crazy wind is blowing, I'll be by your side. When you get to where you're going. When you get to where you're going, I'll be by your side. When you get to where you're going, if you travel far and wide. If the yellow sun is shining or a purple moon is glowing, I'll be by your side. When you get to where you're going. 